Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be talking about my nighttime skin routine. So the first thing I use is the CeraVe Hydrating Foam Oil Cleanser. This contains squalane, which helps to hydrate your skin. After the age of 25, the squalene in our body diminishes. Now squalene, through a process of hydrogenation, turns into squalane, which is then used in skincare products to help hydrate the skin. And it does such an amazing job. So I'm gonna take a couple of pumps, I'm gonna get in there and really get all that grime out. And I can't explain to you how soft and hydrating this cleanser is. It truly is just the softest and most hydrating cleanser I've ever, ever used. So you really wanna get all those areas. Okay, I'm gonna go rinse this off. Patting my skin dry now. Next up, I'm using the Bioderma Micellular Water Makeup Remover, which helps to remove any leftover makeup that I may have. And it also leaves my skin very hydrated as well. You really wanna get all the makeup off because your skincare products just won't penetrate the same if you don't get all that existing makeup off. And as you can see, even though I cleansed really well, still have a lot of that makeup. Now next up, I use the Revitalash Eyelash Conditioner. Now this is a hack. I'm using it on my eyebrows. So this is how I use it on my eyebrows. I like to target the balding areas. So I go in right here. And you really don't have to be very careful with your eyebrows as far as where you put the lash conditioner because there aren't really any problems with getting it on your skin in your eyebrow area like there are with your eyelids. So you can use this, of course, on your lashes, but you have to be extra careful not to get it on the surrounding lash skin because what you don't want is for it to result in darkening of your eyelid. You just really need to be careful that you're aiming it in the right spot. What, what I do is I aim it at the root of each individual eyelash if I'm gonna use it there. What I like about Revitalash over Latisse, for example, is that it contains the same active ingredient that Latisse does to grow your lashes, but in a much smaller form. So say you do get it on your eyelid, it won't have the same harmful effects as something that has a higher percentage of the active ingredient that makes the lash hair grow like Latisse has. Now, I'm currently using this Neura laser for my under eyes. My under eyes have always been a problem for me. Even though most people have very thin skin to their under eyes, I feel like my skin on my under eyes is extremely thin. And because of that, I notice more crepiness and just overall bad texture to my under eyes. And of course, the under eye creams that I'm using really, really help that. But I'm also curious to see if this laser, which is FDA cleared specifically for the eyes, will help with the fine lines and the small wrinkles I have there. Now, as far as eye serum, I'm using the same one that I use for my morning skin routine, the A Shaba Complex Eye Serum. And I just love this one. I'm gonna put this one on this eye. And this is a smoothing and moisturizing eye serum with a very gentle but effective dose of 0.1% vegan retinol and 3% of antioxidant rich caffeine. This also contains a small amount of copper peptides. And this really targets the fine lines and puffiness for me. I feel like I wake up in the morning with much less puffy under eyes. Now I usually alternate between the A Shaba Complex and the Valmont Hydra 3 Eye. Just use a little bit. Use about this much. This actually contains four interesting ingredients. It's a DNA polymatrix, which contains four moisturizing agents. We've got DNA triple silanol, hyaluronic acid, which we all know what that does, and peptides to conceal dark circles. 
I like to use this one when I have a more tired look to my eyes and I really want to diminish any dark circles and kind of lift up and make the eye look less tired. Now, no eye cream can lift your eyes, but what I mean by lifting is just a slight brighter and less tired eye look. Next is one of my favorite skincare products and a lot of you asked if I use it and yes, I absolutely do. And it's tretinoin and it's 0 0.05 tretinoin. And what I do is I use it every day and I just dot it in all the areas I need it. And then I just work it into my skin. And this has done so much for the texture of my skin. You guys have to remember, I'm almost 46. Like, you know, plastic surgery can only do so much. It can't really help your skin. So I believe that tretinoin and retinol products are the reason that my skin hasn't fallen apart. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I by no means have perfect skin, but tretinoin has really kept it looking more youthful than it would have if I hadn't used it. And I've went on many breaks where I haven't used tretinoin and come back to it and been like, what was I thinking? I mean, it's just one of the most amazing discoveries, you know? And I know a lot of you might be sensitive to a retinol or like a tretinoin or a retin-A. So I did want to provide some options for you. You can use this rock retinol. And I believe this is just a milder form of retinol. It shouldn't irritate sensitive skin. And I love that it comes in these little capsules to keep it real fresh. You just twist it off. And I'm just going to go ahead and use it on my skin because, hey, for me, my skin loves the tretinoin. It's gotten so used to it, but with people with sensitive skin shouldn't do this. I have to say the fact that this is a serum and it is so light, it it's, has no scent and it goes on so evenly. I love it. This is a great alternative for people who can't use the full on retin-A or tretinoin. Very nice, very smooth, very, kind of luxurious feeling. And you can use the retinol on your neck. I just, for this video, I haven't been, but I generally will use it there too. Now, depending on the day, I'll either use my Good Jeans Lactic Acid or I'll use my Luna Oil, my Luna Night Oil, both by Sunday Riley, both amazing products, you guys. I've been using these products for over a month now it's completely changed the way I do my skin routine. It's completely changed my view of my skin. I thought that I had problem skin and nothing could help it and that it would always be dry and red and irritated. And I can't say enough good things about this skin routine and these products in general. Okay, so let's talk about the lactic acid. So. I generally use just a little bit and this is a gentle alpha hydroxy acid and it really works like magic exfoliating your skin and this is going to reveal a brighter complexion over weeks and months of using it and I cannot tell you guys how much this has helped to brighten up dark areas of my skin and I do have them. I do have darkness here and here. It's really worked like magic on my skin. And it's a very natural formula. There are no parabens, no sulfates, none of the bad stuff. If you happen to use this with a retinol and you're a beginner, just know that you're gonna feel some tingliness, not burning, but tingliness. I don't recommend that you use this with a retinol, a tretinoin, a retin-A. You're gonna wanna alternate the days you use your lactic acid. Now, this may be a bit pricey for some of you, so I will include an alternative one by The Ordinary. Okay, now let's use my favorite, the Luna Oil. Again, the only reason I'm using Luna Oil together today with the lactic acid is just to demonstrate the Luna because I love it so much. Show you how it looks. 
So this is a next generation retinol oil that really boosts the look and feel of skin plumpness while improving your wrinkles, fine lines, and its major thing it does reduces the size of your pores, you guys. My pores are so much smaller than when I started. And this contains a retinoic acid ester, which is able to enter the skin and immediately bind to the retinoic receptors of the skin and start working right away. Very similar to a prescription grade retinol, retin-A or tretinoin. And there are different types of retinol that I've even shown you today, but this is my favorite because it's not harsh for sensitive skin and it won't scare off somebody who's just starting. Now again, you don't wanna use this alongside lactic acid if you're a beginner, because it's just a bit too harsh. But on its own, it's amazing. Honestly, I wake up in the morning and my skin is so soft and hydrated. There's literally no better product. If you're gonna buy a product, buy this one. This is the one to spend your money on. It's that amazing. Okay, we're almost done. We're at the moisturizing stage. I've got three different options. Now, generally, I'll use the Protini Polypeptide Cream to moisturize because it has peptides and I love my peptides. They actually tell the skin that it's injured and then the skin will send help to the area to heal it, thus giving you better skin in the process. So let's go ahead and put this on one side of my face. You just do one pump. And then I'll show you the other, the other moisturizer I like to use. Now, usually I let all these things dry, but for the sake of the video, I'm just kind of piling them on all together. This one feels amazing. There's no scent, and it really leaves my skin feeling smooth and hydrated, and that's really what we're going for. And I believe it's repairing my skin because I see smoother skin and less fine lines than I have ever with any other regimen. Okay, so we did one side with the Drunk Elephant Protini Polypeptide Cream. Now for the other side, I wanna show you the Mario Badesco Seaweed Night Cream. Now this cream was hailed as being inspired by the La Mer cream and it is a really good cream especially for the price it's very inexpensive let me show it to you and I'll often use this moisturizer when I want a thicker moisturizer just to give you an idea of what it looks like you're definitely going to see it and feel it more on your skin and this is for when you need really extreme hydration this is definitely a heavier type cream but it's still really great and I really feel like it helps a lot with crepiness. And I'll even put it on my hands. Think of it as a very thick night cream. If you want a thick night cream, that's your cream. I also really like the Squalane Omega Repair Cream by Biosons. Um, they make some great products. I love that they include Squalane in their products. I love this one because it, it specifically says that if you have visible crepiness to your skin or scaliness to use this one. Now I'm not gonna put it on, I just wanna show you. Actually, maybe I'll put it on my eyes, on my eyelids. It's very lightweight. And when I feel like I have crepiness, I will use it, especially on my eyes. And I feel like I wake up with much smoother eyelid skin. I'll use it all over and I'll alternate this moisturizer with the proteiny cream, depending on how dry my skin feels. Now we're gonna finish off with the Biosans 100% Squalane Oil. This actually helps seal in all of my nighttime skin routine to my face, and it's lightweight. You can just put it on. Oh my gosh, you guys, it feels so good. So refreshing, so everything your skin needs. And the fact that it has Squalane in it, we just all need it. Past the age of 25, like, you need it. This is amazing. This really seals in all my nighttime products. I let it dry, and then I go to bed, and you would think with this much oil that I would wake up in the morning all oily, but no, it's all been absorbed into my skin. My skin just sucks it up, 
And the result is just smooth, even, well hydrated skin that's easy to put makeup on top of. A couple times a week, I do like to use my red light therapy mask. This one is by Dennis Gross. A lot of you love this one when I showed it before. I do want to show it again. It's a favorite of celebrities, influencers. It really does work very well and I'll use the red light on it and I'll sit with it for about 15 minutes. I definitely see a difference over weeks and months of using it. In particular to the dark spots on my face, it really helps those a lot. And as you can see, the strap to it has been broken by a seven-year-old who wandered into my bedroom. Sometimes I'll lay down with this for about 15 minutes and it's very relaxing. I highly recommend this mask. I actually feel like it's doing something. Other ones I've tried that you have to really strap to your head and they're not molded to your head. It's just not the same effect. I really love the Dennis Gross red light mask. And this one also has other lights. I only use the red light though. There's also a purple one. And one that looks like a combination between purple and red. So lots of choices here with this mask. Oh, and this is not sponsored. I just think the mask is super cool. So obviously I have makeup on now because I'm going to be filming another video, but I hope you took something away from my nighttime skin routine. Now I used to be the type of person to just rush through my skin routine, like grab my makeup remover, remove all the makeup, throw on some moisturizer and go to bed. But in the last few months, my skin routine has really taken on kind of a new meaning for me. When I sit down and I really care for my skin, I look in the mirror and I do all of the rituals and put on all the creams that I know are gonna help my skin, it's also sending a message to myself that I'm worthwhile and that I'm worth it. It's my me time and I no longer look at it as a nuisance or a burden. And I invite you to find the skin routine that you can feel that way about. I think that it will really pay dividends in the long run, not just for the health of your skin, but also your mental well-being. Telling yourself that you're worth taking the time for at the end of the day to do these things really helps to raise your self-esteem. So I do hope that you've enjoyed my nighttime skin routine. Please go watch my morning skin routine. It's coming up next. And thank you to all of you out there.